with, with the Salvation Army. Is the Salvation Army kind of like the wheels for you to, to, to get the food out of your big storehouses there? Absolutely. You know, we run a big food distribution center in the Collinwood Yards neighborhood, 127,000 square feet, which is not quite big enough, I'll tell you. Um, but generally speaking, you know, we're not doing a whole lot of direct service um, other than our help center. It's our partner agencies that are out providing this food in every neighborhood across Northeast Ohio. Um, and, you know, and so Salvation Army has been an important partner to us for decades, without a doubt. Um, but again, the way that they stepped up and leaned in, um, particularly during this crisis, and when so many other agencies had to close, you know, they are, they're a shining star in terms of uh, food distribution. And we're just enormously grateful to the Salvation Army for their incredibly hard work and determination um, as they have worked to make all of this food available to so many people who need it in our community. Kristen, let, let me ask you, I mean, if we're talking about kids, the possibility that kids will not be in school on time when school is to open, they'll be home. That, and a lot of those kids were eating their meals at school, eating a lunchtime at school. That means a kid, if the kids are going to be home, that means more food is going to be needed in the family, in the family refrigerator, right? Absolutely. It is a scary time for uh, struggling families and frankly for kids. You know, I always worry in the summertime about kids who aren't getting um, free and reduced price lunches at school. And so we're working with various partners, including the Salvation Army in a typical summer um, to get food out through the summer meal program. Um, but this summer, there are far fewer locations for the summer meal program. And if kids don't go back into to school in the fall, this problem is just going to continue. There's some recent data out from the Brookings Institution. They surveyed families um, just last month uh, to take a deeper look at child food insecurity. And in families with children under the age of 12, um, child food insecurity, kids not having enough to eat, uh, is triple right now what it was during the last recession. That's, that's a scary thought because kids need that healthy food to learn and grow. And it, it's incumbent upon all of us um, to step forward and try to make sure that those meals are available.